parallel lines, transversals, and vertical angles. Let's start with vertical angles. Let's say this angle is angle A. The angle, when you have two intersecting lines, a vertical angle are the two angles that are across from each other. So this angle here would be vertical to angle A. And vertical angles are congruent. So these two angles are the exact same. And the same goes for these two. These will also be the same. So vertical angles are congruent. Let's look at an example problem that uses this. So here we are given the angle 32 degrees and a right triangle and the angle x. We are asked to solve for x. So the first step here is we can see that 32 is vertical to this angle, so this is also going to be 32 degrees. So now we have two out of the three angles of this right triangle, so we can solve for the third one. So we know these three angles are going to add up to 180, and then we can just subtract 32 and 90 for the angles we already know, and that is going to be 58 degrees. So this angle here is 58 degrees. And now we see that this angle is vertical to our angle x. So x is also going to be equal to 58 degrees. So these two lines, let's call them m and k, are parallel. And then this third line crosses both of our parallel lines. So we call this line a transversal. Now let's say we have an angle, this angle here. Let's call that A. Because these two lines are parallel, A is going to correspond with this angle here. So this angle will also be A. So if we look at this angle A here, and then we look at this angle, these two angles are are going to be equal, and they're also going to be alternate interior angles. So you can see they're both on the inside of the two parallel lines, and they alternate. One's on the right side of the transversal, and the other one is on the left. So these are alternate interior angles, and they are equivalent. And then if we look at this angle A and this angle A, these are alternate exterior angles, and they are also congruent. You can see that they are alternate because this one is on the right and this one is on the left. And they are exterior because they are on the outside of the two parallel lines. So if we had an angle here, and this was B, this would correspond with this angle, and they would be equal. It would be vertical to this angle, and you could say this is its alternate anterior angle, so this would be so this would be B as well. So now let's look at a problem that uses this. So here we're given the two parallel lines, again, M and K, but this time we have two transversals. We are given the angle 61 degrees, 50 degrees, and the angle X, and we are asked to solve for X. So the first thing we can see here is that 61 has a vertical angle, so we could write that as 61 as well. And then we can see that this angle, 61, corresponds with this angle. They are corresponding angles, so we know they are going to be equal. And you could also, if you wanted to, look at this 61 and this 61 as alternate exterior angles. So you could just jump straight to it but it's not necessary. So now if you look up here, we have a triangle. And we have two out of three angles of the triangle, so we can actually solve for this third angle here. And to do that, we know all the angles are going to add up to 180, so if we subtract the angles that we know, 
we will be left with the angle that we are looking for, which is going to be 69 degrees. And now we can see that our yellow angle corresponds with this angle. So this angle will also be 69 degrees. And now we can see that our angle x and our, ang and our yellow angle here are supplementary angles, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So we know that x plus 69 is going to be equal to 180. So 180 minus 69. 69 is going to be equal to x. So 180 minus 60 would be 120, and then we subtract an, another 9, that is going to be 111. So x is equal to 111 degrees. And that is it for parallel lines, transversals, and vertical angles.